Hello everyone, my name is Connor and today I'm going to be demonstrating how to use the Chrome Remote Desktop application via an iOS device. Today Chrome released the Chrome Remote Desktop application on the iTunes App Store and that allows you to connect to your desktop remotely via your iPhone. To begin setup, you visit the Chrome Remote Desktop application's install page via the Chrome Web Store. There will be a link in the description. Once you're here, you can click on plus free, which will go ahead and install the application after you hit confirming add. Once installed, it'll open a new tab and you can select the application from the new tab page. At this point, you're gonna go ahead and install this same application on your iOS device via the iTunes App Store. Once you've installed the Chrome Remote Desktop application in your Chrome browser, you can then install it on your iOS device via the iTunes App Store. It is entitled Chrome Remote Desktop and there is a link in the description to download the application. Once you've downloaded it, you can go ahead and open the application and proceed to sign in with your Google account. Once you've signed into your Google account via your iOS device, you can go back to your computer and hit continue from where you left off. From this point, you'll accept permissions from Google Remote Desktop. Once you've accepted permissions, you can go ahead and download the Google Remote Desktop Installer. You can do this by either um, accessing Remote Assistant or enabling Remote Connections via My Computers. Click Install and enter the password to your computer. It'll say that the installation was successful and you can go ahead and close out of the installer. In addition, you can also wrap up. Once you've gone through installation, you can go ahead and click on Enable Remote Connections where you left off in your Chrome web browser. Chrome will ask you to choose a PIN of at least six digits, and this PIN will be required when connecting from any other desktop or um, any other iOS or Android device. I would also suggest to go ahead and allow Google to um, collect usage statistics and crash reports to help improve the Chrome desktop application. Once you enter the PIN, you'll be asked to confirm the PIN um, within the Chrome desktop host preferences um, within System Preferences, which is there because you've just installed um, the Chrome Remote Desktop application onto your Mac. So you'll begin by clicking the Unlock button and going ahead and typing in your system password so you'll be able to make changes to the pane. After that, you'll re-enter the pin that you just entered within your browser and click on the Enable button. Chrome Remote Desktop will then display within the Preferences pane that the remote connections to this computer are enabled. At this point, you can close System Preferences and navigate back to your Chrome browser. Once you have navigated back to your Chrome browser, you'll see that remote connections for this computer have been enabled. You can then click OK. Here is the title of the device that um, I'm currently on right now. You can go ahead and edit that title to anything you'd like, such as Connor's MacBook Pro. Back on my iOS device, once you refresh, um, your computer list, you'll then see the computer that you just enabled um, via the Chrome Remote Desktop Host Preferences pane. You can go ahead and tap on that computer, go ahead and enter the pin, hit connect, and here is my desktop currently, and here is me navigating with my mouse on the screen from my phone. This up here allows you to navigate, turn on navigation on and off with your mouse. This allows you to enable a keyboard if you would like to type something in remotely. This, allows, this button um, allows you to go full screen with the Chrome Remote Desktop. And then to send Control Alt to Delete, if you were to log out of your computer remotely, um, you can do that as well. To exit this um, virtual network control session that we've enabled, you can then go ahead and press the X in the top left. You'll then see um, that the session has ended. You can see anytime someone is accessing your computer via a notification on the bottom of the screen. Another great feature that Chrome Remote Desktop has is the ability to share your screen with someone else or have someone else share their screen with you. This feature is called Remote Assistance and it, as long as the other person 
has the Chrome Remote Desktop client installed on their device, you can share each other's screens and you both can have control and access of each other's computers. To do this, you navigate to the share button. And once um, they begin sharing your desktop, you give the access code below and they can go ahead and enter that access code and have instant access to your device. Again, as long as you both have the Chrome Remote Desktop client installed on your device. If you have any questions about Chrome Remote Desktop, please feel free to comment below and subscribe and like this video. Thank you very much.